Hi, today we're going to find out what a human hair looks like under magnification, a butterfly wing, the beauty of human pimple, and does yogurt contain the healthful bacteria promises by the manufacturer? Let's go! We usually think a grass as a pleasant and harmless plant, but it often happened when I was a kid, I would cut my hands on a weed by pucking it. So what's the deal? We put it under the microscope at first glance, there is nothing supernatural. We see some structure of, structure of the glass and even some kind of cells. It's very... nothing there. But let's move to the edge of the blade of grass, turn on the light bit and refocus. Amazing! Do you see that? You see the cogs on the edge of a big grasses? They are the ones that literally cut through the person's skin, sometimes creating quite deep cuts. Who would thought that harmless blade of the grass can actually make a small saw? Many people have asked to show us some metal. So here's our kitchen foil knife from kitchen foil. This is aluminium. There's a, this kind of thing that got into the micro scratches, even the sharp part, which is usually quite glossy. Let's look at the person's hair. This is what it looks like when you have a little bit of magnification. It looks like some kind of black macaroni. Here's the end cut off from the scissors. Remember the shampoo co commercials? They show the scaly surface structure of hair. So now we can see these scales. Let's look in the yogurt. Is there any beneficial bacteria by the manufacturer promised? No, let's make it even cooler. Make our homemade yogurt and compare to the store-bought yogurt. So to make yogurt we need this sour broth starter, which we also can buy in stores, and regular milk. We heat milk up to the 40 degrees, pour in the sour dough, stir, and thoroughly leave in a warm place for 8 hours. In the evening the yogurt will be ready and we can make the comparison. Store broth and homemade yogurt. First we look at the store broth yogurt and yes there is some bacteria in it. You see all these hooks and sticks. That's what is a good bacteria. So the manufacturer is not cheating. Now let's look at the homemade yogurt. Wow! There is a bacteria in it. There is a lot more in homemade yogurt. It seems to me a lot more vivacious than store broad yogurt. Basically, they're supposed to be alive. Because who else but them turned into the milk into the yogurt. There is more variety of bacteria in natural yogurt. The manufacturer of the soda starter specifies a large variety of bifidobacteria, especially immune version. And more variety of bacteria means more benefits for your digestive system and the body. All in all, the difference is obvious. Both yogurts have bacteria, but if you want to get more benefits, especially in winter, weakened immune system, I suggest making homemade. A lot of people showed and uh, asked us to show pimple from human skin under the microscope. It would seem that, well, it can be interesting there, just some round dots mold from the human fat, but since you asked, let's take a look. It looks like this, like a transparent plastilin and medieval map with lakes and countries, but if you turn on a special light, it changes the picture dramatically. Look how beautiful it is! It's like some kind of galaxy or a picture of cities from space. I think if you take a screenshot and upload to smartphone, it could be a standard screensaver of some kind of new smartphones. So if you didn't have your black hats, now you know, actually inside they're beautiful. By the way, I'll answer right away to the claims of the video commentators under the last video, like what you show here, urine under a microscope and now pimples, guys. Are you really? Researchers shouldn't stop childish moments like that, like ooh, that's not nice. You're not little kids, I hope. We're watching and showing something that might be interesting no matter how nice it is or not in everyday situations. I mean, even with pimples, we already 
been already seen that such objects under magnification can look very attractive. You probably haven't seen by the way how many people under the last week's video have asked to show humans, mm, you know what, right? Semen under the microscope. We're already working on getting the biomaterial to reveal the mysterious wheel in the next video. So that's not bad reason to subscribe to our channel or you'll miss it. Being in the woods, we took a piece of bark from the tree with the moss and we put it under a microscope and there were a whole microscope organisms. It's like little jungle with a lots of different trees and bushes. And you wouldn't believe we even came across the micro inhabitants in the forest. It was a black bug wandering around in the thick looking for food. Probably it's a big on the screen, but in reality I don't think it would be a millimeter long. At the very last, we couldn't find it with our eyes. And here's another, just like this, but transparent. We were also asked to show some glue. It turns out not the solid liquid at a certain color. It's a little microscopic particles of red that are floating in a gelatine's transparent liquid. There's a lid of ordinary pencil. There's a wooden shell because on the paper under magnification it's quite rough. The lid simply rubs against its fibers, leaving particles there to create a lines that we used to write and draw with. Colored pencils also looked quite interesting. A couple of days ago, we found a dead butterfly near the window. It was already dead or someone had helped her. Only Cookie knows. But her body would not will go to the benefit of science because we will try to see her beautiful wings up close. On the low magnification nothing unusual. Let's zoom in some more. Now, what are those things? It's a row of scales of some kind. It's very interesting because when you look it with your eyes it looks with is smooth and solid. And there is some little growth. These hundreds, no, there are more tens of thousands of little microscales on each wing of butterfly. In these pixels, like in your smartphone, that make the different patterns and design on the wings. You see flags on white pixels and you see the black pixels. And on the insides of the wings, the insides of the wings is made entirely of black scales. You can't believe how nature has learned to create such flawless in a small size. Write down your idea what else can we put under a microscope and if they get a lot of likes, we'll be sure to show it to you.